Hello and welcome to my channel. It is time for the weekly, weekly uh, whip and chat. Yes. And when I woke up this morning, I came to realize or I, I remembered forgetting to put the cover back on to this piece. So the glue has been exposed all night. And then I fell asleep again and forgot all about it. So it is still sticky, thank God. <laughs> oh, let's see, you see the whole picture there? Great. Oh, I had such a great start this morning. I'm so, I'm, su I'm in such a good mood. Mm. And yeah, I've um, moved out from my hobby corner in the bedroom out into the kitchen uh, because I've been oh, diamond painting a little bit, tiny, teeny little bit, uh, while my daughter has been doing her homework out here in the kitchen. So in the background, you will hear my dishwasher making some noise and I'm sorry about that, but I didn't want to move all my stuff back into the bedroom. So I'm, you're just going to have to listen to the washing in the background. I'm sorry about it. Yes. So <clears throat> I'm still working on my victorious moon. I haven't been diamond painting all that much this past week. Uh, after a week of, uh, yeah, vacation and being very active on YouTube and doing a lot of videos and different crafts and everything, I was kind of tired and then going back to work, you know, it hits you like, you know, yeah, it knocks you out completely. So I've been very, very tired. Um, let's do M, which is 550. And I'm in a very, very, very big cross stitch mood. So all I want to do is cross stitch, but I want to get this finished and I want to start a diamond art, art club. So I need to, I need to get going. Yes. So why was my start of the day so great? Well, first of all, I'm off work. I have the morning home together with my daughter who was going to school. And I enjoy that time very much with her. And uh, then I drove her there because I know she appreciates that. Uh, otherwise, she takes the bus. And so while we were spending the morning watching TV, eating breakfast and drinking coffee and all this, uh, I had time to edit another unboxing video, which will be released in December. Uh, so it was a productive morning. So when I got home after um, leaving her at school, I went out for my training session um, running. I'm not running the whole distance yet, uh, but you know, you run walk. So it's the fifth time in a row I have been doing that running training and I'm very proud of that and it's not that running is new to me but I've had a long period where I just never ever want to take a step again I never want to run anything again or anywhere you know but after yeah at the end of my vacation I got the the feeling back for it so I'm gonna try to let's just squeeze that in there 
I'm gonna try to not set the you know the goals too high so that's all I think yeah and when I got home from that I took a shower made a fast cup of coffee and I decided it's time it is time to get back and take control over my weight and over my unhealthy eating and out of control eating <clears throat> so I went to Weight Watchers signed up weighed in and I seriously need to you know take back the control and uh, yeah I need to find balance in life it's very important to me very very important to me and you know it's not that I want to like I'm over 40 years old so it's not like I want to you know be skinny and you know run around on the beach with my bikini on or you know flirting with men and all this or girls or whatever um, it's, it's not that it's about you know feeling good about yourself and feeling healthy and <clears throat> let's do the cues what I need my phone with the legend um, I'm thinking when I weighed in today I was 100 and 80 almost to 182 pounds that's a lot and I've gained like 10 kilos within let's see April May June July August September October like within six months uh, just by eating and not you know running or anything just I've been feeling really really bad and then I eat a lot um, but so now you know if you want to run I mean those pounds they they make a huge difference and it's even easier for me to let's see Q is 917 and it's it's even easier for me to relate to for when you're hiking and you know the weight of the backpack you have on your back and I'm all in for this you know the lighter the better and the easier it is to walk further <clears throat> so let's get the cover minder that I got from I bought from Rachel Ray um, you know my backpack the base weight is like 8 to 10 kilos I don't know how much that is in pounds um, it's twice as much so it's 16 to 20 so a little bit more max 25 pounds I don't know but if you lose or you add 10 more kilos to your body weight and hike around in that that's 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 a lot of weight to carry so I'm always you know trying to look for gear where you can you know cut off some grams and stuff or ounces or whatever you call it in in you know other measure languages whatever um, we have a famous ultralight hiker here in Sweden who's an <clears throat> author uh, and he told me you know you should consider the weight on your body the same as the weight on the backpack you have on your back you know and that's that and the same way as you're you know trying to cut off weight on your gear it's the same thing with your body each gram you you lose is is a win for you when you're hiking and it's true it's so true 
and it's it's a huge difference you know and yeah you just feel better too i'm not saying like i said i'm like i'm not you know i want to feel good i want to have control so it was a great start i'm i'm very pleased with this day I have lots of energy and yeah now it's time to make the whipping shed and i'm not embarrassed of being a weight watcher sometimes here in sweden i think it's no i'm not sure if it's men but weight watchers actually you know it, they don't always have the best reputation from like in the old days but they've changed so much and uh, no i'm not i'm not ashamed and it's not a freaking diet it's it's a it's a change in lifestyle you know i have the same behavior as if it was alcohol you know and if you want to stop drinking you have to stop drinking alcohol right and you have to stay away from it forever if you have that problem and i'm not saying i have to stay away from food but i need to stay away from the unhealthy things i eat and it can't be okay sometimes and sometimes it's not it's not okay because i cannot control it so i need to have that mindset and it's easier said than done but when i confess to myself you know that this this is this is how it is this is the reality i'm not doing this to be a role model for my daughter i'm not doing this for her i'm not doing it for my husband i'm not doing it to become thin or anything i'm doing it because i i can't keep on doing it i'm i'm gonna you know seriously i'm gonna get sick if if i don't stop so that's that's really nice so yeah uh a little bit of ranting now there's another cube i said that i'm really into cross stitching at the moment and i'm waiting for two hand dyed pieces i'm so happy i've all i think i only know two uh, hand dyed pieces from earlier um but now as i said i ordered it for uh the stitch your own adventure harry potter theme and uh the sumatra squirrels and uh let's see 838 is these leaves so the fabric has arrived to sweden i've paid the the tax and uh the tax and customs and all that but it still hasn't arrived to my place so i'm i'm waiting 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 because uh on the 1st of january i think uh they will be releasing the first letter uh for the harry potter stitch along and i need to be finished with you know the the basics until then so i'm a little bit stressed out about it but oh yeah i hope it arrives soon and oh you know yeah now right I, i i'm just so annoyed because i ordered a kit from russia and it's the kit with the moose i told you guys about that who's holding a whole you know village on his horns and it arrived to sweden on the 30th 
on the 30th of October. It's the 11th of November now. I missed one there. Yeah. So again, it's stuck in customs. And why is it stuck in customs? Because the people who send the packages don't put this, uh, you know, it's a custom declaration. You need to put this on the package and, and you know, put the information that you need. The value and what's in it, for example. And it makes me really pissed off that if you're a seller and if you're gonna, you know, ship worldwide, you need to know the rules. You need to know the, dis the restrictions or, you know, it's not okay to send a package from Russia to Europe without any declaration. And it goes, the same goes with Diamond Art Club. They don't put the right information on the package either. Why it gets stuck, stuck in the customs for a longer time. Because if the information isn't on the package, they can't inform the receiver what to pay and, you know, showing that the package has arrived, right? And if, like, for example, the phone number, they need your phone number. And I've been in contact with Diamond Art Club as well about this, but I don't know if they don't understand what's, what information is missing. But yeah. And those packages that don't have uh, the right information, it's just going to be set aside and they don't have time for it because we all order too much from abroad so they don't have time to I guess handle all the packages and um, you know it takes they, ha they still haven't sent out you know the letter to me you know asking for the information they need for this package and it's been 11 days and since I experienced this earlier this summer I knew something was up when it took so long. So I contacted them. But there is a big risk that they're sending it back because it came from Russia without declaration. Ugh. I'm just... Ugh. Anyway, I had a great start this morning. Let's stop the ranting. Okay, now I need the plus. I think that's... Uh, 150, yep. So do I still like my Victoria's Moon? Yeah, I do. I have, however, noticed that I have popping drills. And I don't know if it's because it's the size of the drills that are, you know, some are bigger and some are a bit smaller or if I'm not pressing down hard enough or it's the glue that it's open for, you know, too long. So it loses its stickiness. I, I, I don't know, but I've noticed it, especially on this uh, part. I don't think you see this part here to the left where I've been uh, diamond painting, but I've actually seen drills fall off and that surprises me a little bit since the glue is so, so, so sticky. That's a negative I noticed. Otherwise, I love it. I love it still. And as I mentioned in my other whip and chat, it might be blurry, but I, I want to see the complete picture finished before I do my, you know, final review, a final opinion, but um, 
I'm enjoying the process. I think round drills are very easy and uh, the symbols on the canvas are very, very clear. So it's, it's, it's so, it makes it all so easy and I, I enjoy that. And <clears throat> if the picture turns out really nice, I will frame it and, you know, put it up somewhere. Otherwise, you know, it's not important to me to, to hang my diamond paintings on the wall. I just, I just want to diamond paint and enjoy the process. So I don't mind too much, but it's a review for other customers. You know, it's a review for YouTube. So it's, it's important to be fair and square. Okay, so what's next? I will do those, I don't know what symbol it is. 304. Let's see how long, 21 minutes. Let's start over. I'll be right back. Anyway, uh, so yeah, today is the 11th of November. The big sale on AliExpress is starting. And I actually decided to save my money and not order anything. Um, was that all? Oh, I cut my finger yesterday and now it's starting to hurt. Um, yeah. No, I decided not to. Uh, I have some bonus points on Diamond Art Club, so I think I'm going to order something there together with my mom. Yes. Um, let's do the music note. That's 603. And yeah. The thing is, well, I haven't had the greatest, you know, financial uh, situation for a while because of my car. I needed to fix it and all, and that costs money. So I've been on a no buy, at least for diamond paintings, <laughs> because I do have a lot and I should, you know, start to paint them. I really, really, really want to start a diamond art club. I haven't tried one yet. So I have so many cool anyway. So yeah, anyway, um, the thing is also that heaven and earth designs, you know, Hade, they have flagged for a release of another Amy Stewart, it's not a bookshelf, I think, but it looks like it. Um, it's going to be released around Thanksgiving and they're releasing all sizes, all colors, all the, you know, the special uh, designs without anyone having to, you know, ask for them. And they're doing the material pack as well. And... I know their packs are really expensive, but the, the cool thing about it is that you, you get the whole kit and you get all the threads and everything. So you don't, you know, you don't have to, well, you have it, everything in one piece and they have their, uh, you know, floss cards and everything. It's so nice. and and what you call it, um, organized. So I think it's worth the extra money. And I know it's costly and I decided, you know, I, I really want that new release coming. 
and when it comes and I get that pack, it usually takes about two months before I get it. I'm stopping everything. It, that's that's the thing. I'm I'm gonna stitch, and then I guess it will be mostly floss tube, and I don't mind to to you know stitch on camera. I don't know if I'll be talking that much though. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so that's done. What's the next symbol? The double arrow. That's 413. Okay, let's keep on moving. I made some notes to the right. Because, you know, usually it's like I wake up, I go to work, I work uh, full days, I come home. I take care of my daughter, I help her with homework and all the stuff she needs to do. Cook, walk the dogs, say hello to my husband, go to bed. That That's kind of what I do. Uh, so I don't have much adventures to tell you about. But yeah, my car, um, yes. I fixed the car, it's all done. It cost me about um i think i paid around 700 dollars for the whole thing and can you imagine like less than a week after it's been you know at the car mechanics the freaking light you know the front light is broken i'm like no no, 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 no. It's not expensive. That's not a thing. The thing is, the thing is that I have to go there again. And it's, it's another town. So oh, I hate to go. I hate to go to the mechanics and the, t the dentist. I hate it. Oh, so it's very frustrating. It's, it's so typical. I was like, I'm all done. I paid it off and everything. I'm so happy. You know, I've saved money for it and yada, yada, yada. And then it comes, you know, like four or five days after. Ah, yeah. Which reminds me, I need to call them today and ask if I can come there tomorrow and switch out that lamp. Ah, yes, very frustrated. Uh, it's going to be, I can't believe I'm saying this, but you know, um, at New Year, my husband is, uh, del uh, is like giving back his car. It's been on, you know, for rental. We call it, we call it leasing. So you have the car for three years and you pay an amount of money for it, but you don't own the car. So he wanted to try that out. He tried it out and now we decided, you know, just, you know, to be a bit more, what do you call it, eco economical. We decided to just have one car. So we'll keep my car. Uh, let's do E452. But you know, it's a luxury to have two cars. You can, you know, go anywhere, anywhere, anytime. Um, so now one of us has to, you know, take the bus and we have to, you know, talk to one another and, you know, decide who gets to have the car today. Are you going somewhere and blah, 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 blah. Yes. And I hate taking the bus and I hate to get up earlier in the morning to go, you know, to be able to catch the bus to get to work. But yeah, at the same time, you know, you don't have that stress over, you know, you have to save up money all the time to have money to pay for the car. You know, if it breaks, breaks down or, you know, when it's time for service and, you know, changing tires, buying new tires and all that. Yeah, I don't see there's another E there. I feel like I'm getting blinded when I'm doing these whip and shats. I see a Q. I see another E. I see one. Yep. Q. 
I missed the Q. Wasn't that six? Nope. Where is Q? Nine seventeen, of course. Yes. There's another cue. Oh my god. Yep. That's my dog. Shh, 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 shh. Come on. Come on. Bro, good man. Bro, come. Yeah, good dog. Yeah, you know, Billy. He's like, don't come ring my door, I will bark. <laughs> so, good dog. Yo. Shh, 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 shh. And I'm not. We talked actually to a dog whisperer the other day about Maya, our other dog, because she's just been acting crazy this, you know, in the night. She's like, you wake up and she's just sitting there staring at you. And she's like jumping, jumping on top of me, and like it's like I don't exist, and she just. I'm gonna sleep here, so I'm just gonna lie right over your face, you know? <sighs> yeah, and then we talked a little, little bit about Billy and his barking. So she told us, you know, if you start screaming, no, no, shut up, and all this, yeah, or be quiet, you know, he takes it as if I'm barking as well. So I need to be, you know, more neutral. There's another cue. Jesus, this is very, very funny. So now we have some um, like exercises we need to do with the dogs to put up some boundaries. What you doing? That's Maya. She just pulled out the plug on my light board. Yeah. That's all right. They're active today. Let's do um, five. 3805. So that's like uh, when we were walking them taking them for a walk and coming back and you know who's gonna go through the door first and where you're gonna sit and yeah putting up boundaries telling them that you're gonna do what i'm saying yeah All right. Um, did I did I mention the paint by numbers? So I haven't been diamond painting that much. I've been cross stitching a little bit, uh, but I have actually done some paint by numbers and filming that. Um, and I want to make a time lapse from start to finish. Um, because I enjoy watching those kind of videos. I think it looks cool. Um, but I, I'm really, really, really struggling with this um, paint by numbers. You know, the print and the canvas and everything is very nice. And I enjoy, you know, the painting. But the paint itself, it is thick and difficult to work with. It's so hard to do the detailed painting. And I mean, paint by numbers is like all detail, more or less. It's very difficult. And, you know, again, when, when you don't get, you know, good quality, you just, yeah. It makes me so sad and, you know, I lose interest in finishing the, finishing it. And then I get, a bad conscience for not doing it.
but it's it's I'm not enjoying the process. So I'm not sure I will finish. I'm not sure you know the movie will be released. I guess I will just if it ends up like I'm I'm just quitting. Uh, I guess I will just make a post review and you know tell what I think about it. Mm, I'm trying to, you know, I put some water in the acrylic paint, uh, you know, to loosen it up a little bit. So, but yeah, it's really unfortunate. There's another cue. Cues. It's cues this time that are, that's going to make my, mm, my diamond painting hell. No, it's not hell. It's just annoying, annoying that you miss a symbol here and there. Well, you you all know how it is. But it shouldn't... It usually doesn't annoy me. So I don't know why. Why I'm annoyed at it now. Whoops. Okay. So I see a lot of... There's threes and there's bees. But I think I'm going to go with three. And there were more fives. So let's continue with the fives because I missed some of them. Yeah. Where did I see fives? Here's one five. Mm. Ooh, have you guys heard the new James Blunt album? <gasps> oh my God. Okay, I'm, I'm a big fan of James Blunt. I seriously love his music. It's just, you know, I think it gets better and better and better. And this album, I, I don't even have any problems with any of his songs. Some of the other albums, you know, you have to... Some of the songs, I'm like, yeah, I have to listen to them a few times. And then, you know, I fall in love with them. But this album is... You know, it's heartbreaking. One of the songs is called Monster. And he sings about saying goodbye to his father. And... Yeah... The first time I started listening to it, I couldn't finish listening to it. I, it just tore my chest open and my tears just, you know, I had to stop the song to stop crying. And the song reminds me very, very much <coughs> about the time where I was saying goodbye to my father. It's such a nice song. So I get, um, I haven't listened to the album too many times yet, but um, so I'm going for the threes now. Um, but it seems a lot of his uh, songs this time is about, you know, entering the, the half part of life, which is going for, you know, the end of life. <coughs> Billy, go Ben. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, I think it's time for the postman, mailman to come. But I'm not sure why he's barking so much. I'm sorry. I can't, you know, I don't want to yell at him. Um, yeah. You know, I, if you like James Bond, uh, James Bond, yeah, yes, James Blunt, go listen to his album on Spotify. Is the thing I know anyway. I don't know if it's on Deezer, but yeah. I've talked for a while, so I'm getting tired in pronouncing the English words. So I'm sorry if if it's I'm. If I'm mumbling a lot, I do that in Swedish too. Um, 
yes, but it's such it's oh, it's such a beautiful album. It's called Once Upon a Mind, I think it's called. Yes, so I'll be listening listening to that a lot. And I actually need to buy it as a CD so I can play it in my car. Yeah, I can connect my radio with my phone, but it's just more easy to have it on as a CD. So what else? Uh, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, this Friday, me, my mom, and my older sister, we went to see a show called Lola. It was a one-man show. And it is about this man who is a performer, a singer, but he's a transvestite. Um, and, you know, he's, he's a famous, very famous singer in Sweden. He's older. Um, and, you know, he, with songs and some monologue, he is telling his, well, Lola is telling the story of his slash hers, uh, her life from childhood and up to now where, you know, she's let go from her job. So she's like, you know, doing her last show. Wow, what a show. And this man, he can sing, I'm telling you, wow. Um, his, his name is Tommy Schöberg. So if you're watching this show and you're, you know, from Sweden, you know who he is. And if you haven't seen the show and you live in Sweden, go see it. And it's, it's a mixed thing. So he's very funny. And, same, and the next se second, he's like dead serious. It was such a great show and you know it was you know i was fighting to hold back my tears you know he's really touching you know you with his songs and the whole story and you know being different and being unaccepted and ah uh, it was oh such a great show so yeah i love to go to those um you know, like the theater, not the movies, but the theater or I, mean, I haven't been to the opera yet, but if it's musicals or something like that, it costs quite a, a bit to go to. So I don't do it that often, but when I do it and this time my mom gave it to me and my sister as a present. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, but when you do go to to these things it's like you know it's an experience for a lifetime it gives you memories for life and you know all these feelings you feel all these feelings and it's so great and I'm amazed with the artists that we have around the world who do these shows and who yeah amazing So for the cross stitching, I'm stitching my Grandmaster by Gordon Fidget. And I finished all the white, almost, almost all the white in the duck's face now. So I'll be heading to his hands or wings or whatever you call it. So in his uh, arms, he's holding a lot of uh, birds, small birds. So there's a lot of white there. Uh, but yeah, it's nice. I think cross-stitching like that for my heads, 
my hates, my heaven and earth designs were. You know, I have it on my big uh, scroll frame. And uh, yeah, you know, just the sound of the thread going up and down through the fabric and you know, you, you know, I feel so comfortable doing it. And all those colors and it's huge and the detail is oh, fantastic. And you're usually, as I said, I'm, I'm listening to an audiobook. I can go through a lot of audiobooks when I'm cross stitching. So yeah, I, I really think I love to do other hobbies. I like to explore. Yep. See, I just this pearl this drill just popped off the canvas oh annoying come on yeah i i like to do other stuff so but i i think cross stitching is my thing my really really thing to go to to you know just meditate while doing it uh, I'm gonna go with a 37 and talking about hobbies I had an old hobby years back where I did uh, trees out of wire steel wire I've done it with copper wire as well, but mainly I did it with s steel wire. And I turned the trees with my bare hands. And they they look awesome. I think myself that they're like a piece of real sculpture when I'm done. And I know a lot of people like those trees so i wanted to i wanted to get back to that and try it out surprise <laughs> i've ordered a whole bunch of wire uh but uh as my younger sister told me did you also buy a whole bunch of um what you call it, bandages for your fingers as well because yeah, it, it's painful in the beginning at least when your hands are not used to the sharp ends. And it's hard work to twist the wire sometimes. Um, so no, I, I haven't started yet because I do remember how painful it was <laughs> on my hands. So, but uh, I, I think I'll, I'll try it out soon. Yeah. Also, I, I made actually um, candle holders, you know, these long metal things where you put your candles in. That was quite appreciated as well. But mainly I enjoyed the trees. I love trees. So yeah, when I'm saying I've been on a no buy, it, me it means like um, diamond paintings because like the wire I could get, you know, for a good price in Sweden. So that doesn't cost too much. It's, it's different when you need to order something like, yeah, a diamond painting from the States or China. Uh, there's, so from Diamond Art Club, you because of the shipping you know you want to order more at once and also to and same thing like for from china you will always get at least 75 uh that's seven to eight dollars for bringing it, it in to sweden 
because of the mail office, the post office, to handle your package. That costs at least, always, 75 kroner. Um, and then depending on the value of the package. So the, the smallest I would I had to pay was like one Swedish kroner. And 10 Swedish kroner is one dollar. So that's, what's that? Is that like 10 cents? And then you had to pay like the seven, eight dollars on top of that for the post office to handle it. So then you think if you order, you know, at least two diamond paintings from China from the same company, then you don't, you only have to pay, you know, those dollars for the post office to handle. And then you get the tax and the customs and that depends on the value of course and it also depends sometimes a little bit you know on luck sometimes you get to pay a little bit more and sometimes you know you don't have to pay that much it depends So yeah, um, I don't think I have much more to say at the moment. I'm trying to put up some videos, you know, to s keep it alive. Um, I'm actually considering doing a whip and chat every second week if you know, it's get, I, I, as I said, I work, I don't, I don't have much to do other than work and just be home, you know, my family. Um, so I'm not sure how I'm going to keep up the conversation during the videos. I was thinking about some tags, of course. Um, but otherwise, you know, I can do a whip and shed every second week, uh, or just shorter whip and chats um, but it also the whip and chats kind of keeps me a little bit focused on the diamond painting I think I would just maybe put it aside and cross stitch instead if I didn't you know think to myself you know you have that whip and chat you need to do and then you need to diamond paint so yeah um, but I'm enjoying it. It's not that. It's just that I enjoy the cross stitching a little bit more. Um, so I, I almost knew it when I picked up that needle and thread and just started. I was just gonna, I guess, try out a little bit and do that floss tube video because I wanted to start the stitch along Harry Potter. I knew that I think I, I was thinking if you start now, you might get stuck on the cross stitching because you usually do that and yeah <laughs> I enjoy it so much but this this I, I like this too it's just I, I would like to do all my cross stitching in diamond painting but that's that's not possible because those heaven and earth in diamond painting are so big and I don't know how I'm gonna handle it it was so silly of me to even you know think that that would fit into our apartment. I'm like, where am, where am I gonna sit? I don't have a table where it fits. Yeah. So uh, I will continue finishing this uh, and during the week I will finish the other part. Um, I do have some days off this week, so I might might maybe finish so I'm at least halfway um, yeah but I enjoy it it's gonna be very interesting to have a finished piece and see what's happening with the drills and the, the clear you know the the sharpness of the picture um, so if you have any questions please leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe. 
and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.